What is going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Y'all know what I need y'all to do. Be sure to like, comment, share the video if you're feeling the content, man. I appreciate the love and support, like always. Be sure to check out the links in the description. Grab you some merch. Support the growth of the channel. Today, let's get right into it. So today, we're going to talk about that boy Sam Cassell. The name of this story is going to be Hoop Dreams. Sam Cassell was born November 18, 1969 in Baltimore, Maryland, to mother Donna Cassell. In Sam's younger years, he went to Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School in East Baltimore, where he excelled in basketball. Sam was scouted by DePaul University in Chicago after playing one year of postgraduate ball at the Maine Central Institute under coach Max Good. Sam's actual college basketball career was start once he enrolled at the San Jacinto College in Houston, Texas, before transferring to Florida State for his junior and senior year, where he averaged 18.3 points, 4.9 assists, and 4.3 rebounds per game during his senior year. In 1992 and 93, he was the leader in total steals in the Athletic Coast Conference of the NCAA. Florida State finished 25 and 10 in 92-93 season and advanced in the NCAA tournament but lost to the Kentucky Wildcats. Sam was drafted by the Houston Rockets on June 30th, 1993 as the 24th overall in the first round of the 93 NBA draft. Once in the big leagues, Sam had to hustle and grind to earn game time. With a team that had won 55 games in their previous season and had future Hall of Famers such as Hakeem Elijah won. But Sam would get playtime and help the Rockets win 58 games and one game scoring seven points in the last 32 seconds versus the Knicks, in which Houston won 93 to 89 during the 94 finals. In the second season with Houston, Sam had earned his spot on the court, playing all 82 games even scoring 31 points in the finals game against the Orlando Magic. This gave, Sam, this gave Sam his second championship in just two years in the league. Sam would later get injured and miss 21 games in the third season and was traded by the Rockets to the Phoenix Suns on August 19, 1996. When he got there, Sam clashed a lot with the head coach but would continue to be a beast on the court, helping the team improve their record and scoring an average of 14.8 points a game. He was traded to the Dallas Mavericks after playing only 16 games in Dallas. Sam landed in New Jersey with the Nets in February 1997. Once the season ended, he signed a six-year contract with the Nets, forming one of the toughest backcourts in the league at that time, averaging 19.6 points, eight assists, and 1.6 steals, helping his team enter the playoffs for the first time in four years. March 11, 99, Sam would go to the Milwaukee Bucks, forming the big three, with himself, Ray Allen, and Glenn Robinson. On March 3, 2001, scoring a career high of 40 points against the Bulls. Also winning the Flair shootout at Jam Session during All-Star Weekend in 2001. Sam went on to play for the Timberwolves, Clippers, Celtics, later becoming an unofficial assistant coach to Doc Rivers. May, 25th, 2000, May 21st, 2009, Sam would become the assistant coach for the Washington Wizards. After five seasons in that role in 2014, he would go assist in coaching for the LA Clippers. Sam has spent years as a coach, going from playing hard on the court to pushing other players and Sam has become the fan favorite with the Baltimore charm and determination. His son, Sam Cassell Jr., will follow in his dad's footsteps and now play in the NBA himself. From East Baltimore to over 20 years in the NBA, Sam is the definition of making it out. A lot of people that I know that know Sam say he is a good dude and always show love and is a good rep for the city. Man. One salute for Sam Cassell, man. You feel me? Like, 
I remember I used to talk to my uncle, and you feel me? I don't, I don't know if this story, you feel me, true, but he told me one time they was on the block. He said he was a little younger, and Sam came through in the Rolls Royce, and he let like four of them get in and just rolled them through East Baltimore. You feel me? And he said at that time, you know, they had a lot going on, and that was just an escape from reality. They said he showed love. He passed out $100 bills to everybody, and they said they were surprised to Sam. Now, I would have been too young at the time, so I don't remember, but if that story true, man, that's super dope. And just Sam doing his thing and making it out, you know, for a long time he was married to uh, a young lady from Baltimore. And my uncle, which is my father's brother, that's his cousin, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if y'all followed that, but I'm not sure if they still together. I think that's who his son by, if I'm not mistaken. But man, Sam ain't never fall off. You know, after he finished playing, he went on coaching, doing his thing. You know, he kept grinding. And I, he never let up because he knew how easy it was to go back to having nothing. You feel me? When you get an opportunity like that and you come from the trenches, man, you can't let up because you know how easy it is to fall off. So yeah, man, I definitely want to send a big shout out to Sam Cassell. I also did the Muzzy Bowl story. I'm going to drop the um, link for that in today's comment session because I feel like that's another dope story. You know, they both went to Dunbar. It was a lot of great people that came from Dunbar High School, you know. And um, yeah, man, and his son, like I said, he played professionally. You know, I ain't had too many times to check out his games. Like I checked out like one game. But I'm not sure, you know, what he looking like on the court. I'm going to have to go check out some of his games and see what he hitting on. But, yeah, man, this is definitely a success story. You know, Sam definitely doing his thing. I think he got basketball camps and stuff like that, too, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, he been doing his passion for years. And that's what I feel like life about. Finding your passion, finding something you love to do, and stick to it. That way it don't feel like no job when you doing it. And he been doing this for over 20 years, man. So I know he happy with what he do. You feel me? But yeah, this is another episode of the Baltimore Way. Y'all already know this, the Sam Cassell story. Be sure to like, comment, share the video if you rocking out with your boy. You feel me? Check out the links in the description. Check out that Baltimore Way merch. Y'all let me know who y'all want to see next. I'm working on something real big. I ain't going to give it away just yet. You feel me? I'm making sure everything line up. Then I give y'all a little snippet. Then I go ahead and drop it, man. But... I'm just trying to work, man, and I appreciate the love and support. It means everything, everybody that's rocking with me. For y'all that don't know, this channel been out for a minute. We ain't new, so check out some of the old content. I got a playlist with like 400 videos. Lay y'all fam, I'm out.